gearing up for more wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles, or is Formula 1 just chasing the money trail? Let's dive into the 2024 sprint race calendar and see if we can spot the dollar signs behind the dash to the checkered flag. Welcome to Pole Position, your ultimate pit stop for all things Formula 1. Formula 1's introduction of sprint races has undeniably shaken up the traditional weekend format, aiming to inject more action and excitement into the sport. But as we look toward the 2024 season, with more sprints on the calendar than ever before, the move has sparked a spectrum of debates. Is Formula 1 evolving for the better, or is it straying too far from its roots? Let's delve into the controversies that sprint races have ignited among fans, teams, and drivers alike. What's the real purpose of F1 sprints? Officially, Formula One argues that sprints enhance the race weekend, offering fans more competitive racing and opportunities for engagement. However, critics argue that the format dilutes the purity of the sport, turning Grand Prix weekends into spectacles that prioritize entertainment over racing integrity. The question arises, are these changes driven by a genuine desire to improve the sport? Or are they merely a response to external pressures for more viewer-friendly content? Why the push for more sprints in 2024? The decision to increase the number of sprint races has been met with mixed reactions. Some see it as a natural progression, adapting to the demands of modern audiences. Others view it as a risky venture that could compromise the essence of Formula 1 racing. The expansion raises concerns about the impact on team strategies and the traditional qualifying format, potentially overshadowing the grandeur of the main race event. When did Formula 1 decide to gamble with tradition? Formula 1's sprint race concept is not new, but its expansion represents a significant shift. This gamble with tradition has been controversial, with every new announcement scrutinized for its potential to alter the sport's historical fabric. Critics compare this to past changes in Formula 1, questioning whether sprints will be remembered as a positive evolution or a misstep. Where does money fit into the sprint equation? The financial implications of sprint races cannot be ignored. Increased revenue from sponsorships, broadcasting rights, and ticket sales appear to be a driving force behind the push for more sprints. This commercial aspect has sparked debate over whether financial motivations are overshadowing the sport's competitive integrity and the interests of its traditional fan base. Are sprints really popular among fans and teams? While some fans relish the added excitement of sprint races, others remain unconvinced, longing for the return to a more traditional format. Team and driver opinions are similarly divided, with public statements of support often contrasted with private concerns over the format's long-term impact on the sport. The impact of sprints on championship integrity The allocation of points for sprint races had introduced a new dynamic to the championship, leading to controversy over whether this could lead to an unfair advantage or distort the championship standings. This has reignited debates about the true nature of competition in Formula 1 and whether sprints contribute to or detract from the sporting challenge. Safety Concerns and Sprint Races Increased racing means increased risk, prompting discussions about whether the sprint format compromises safety. Critics argue that the push for more on-track action could lead to more incidents, questioning if the sport's pursuit of excitement comes at too high a cost. The future of sprints, innovation or distraction? As Formula 1 navigates its path forward, the role of sprints remains a contentious topic. Are they a genuine innovation, enhancing the sport's appeal, or a distraction from its core racing ethos? The debate extends to the sport's strategic direction and whether their alternative formats could better balance tradition with innovation. Is Formula 1 losing its essence? At the heart of the controversy over sprint races is a deeper philosophical question about the essence of Formula 1. Can the sport evolve while maintaining its rich heritage? Or do changes like the sprint format risk alienating those who cherish its history? As Formula 1 continues to fine-tune its race weekend formats, the 2024 season presents an exciting lineup of sprint events across a diverse array of circuits. 
With a careful selection designed to maximize overtaking and entertainment, here are the confirmed venues and dates for the 2024 Formula One Sprint events. Shanghai, China Kicking off the sprint season, the Shanghai International Circuit will host its first-ever sprint event from April 19 to 21, offering a blend of technical sections and high-speed straights that could shake up the championship standings early in the season. Miami, United States the Miami International Autodrome joins the Sprint calendar from May 3 to 5, bringing the Sprint spectacle to Florida's vibrant and picturesque setting, promising high-energy racing in the heart of Miami. Spielberg, Austria The Red Bull Ring in Spielberg, a circuit known for its stunning Alpine backdrop and a history of dramatic racing, will see the Formula One Circus return for its third Sprint race from June 28 to 30. Austin, United States the Circuit of the Americas, a favorite among drivers for its challenging layout, will continue to feature sprint racing from October 18 to 20, adding to the intensity of the championship's final stages. Sao Paulo, Brazil The track in Interlagos, a traditional setting for wheel-to-wheel -wheel action, will once again host a sprint race from November 1 to 3 as it has done successfully in previous years. Lusail, Qatar the Lusail International Circuit will close out the sprint calendar from November 29 to December 1, with its combination of fast and flowing corners providing a fitting end to the sprint racing for the season. The 2024 sprint calendar encapsulates Formula One's strategic vision of blending traditional circuits with more recent additions to the calendar. The selection of venues like Shanghai and Miami indicates a commitment to bringing competitive racing action to new audiences and markets. With each circuit offering unique challenges, the sprint races are poised to play a pivotal role in the championship narrative, offering drivers and teams additional opportunities to score valuable points. The inclusion of circuits that encourage overtaking aligns with Formula One's goal of making every race weekend an electrifying contest of speed and strategy. The positive impact on audience figures, particularly on Fridays, underscores the success of the sprint format in bringing more competitive action to fans across the globe. As we cross the finish line on this deep dive into the world of Formula One sprints, it's clear there's more at play than just the thrill of the race. The 2024 season is set to be a defining moment for the sport, with more sprint races slated than ever before. But what does this shift mean for the future of Formula One? Is the expansion of sprint races a nod to the fans' desire for more action? Or is it the sport chasing after bigger profits? How will this blend of old tracks and new challenges affect the storied traditions of Formula One? And most importantly, where do you stand on this starting grid of opinions? Share your thoughts and join the global conversation about the future of Formula One. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Formula One sprints, hit that like button, share with fellow F1 enthusiasts, and subscribe to Pole Position for more in-depth F1 analysis.